Um, so this video is gonna cover the Mandalorian and a whole bunch of Naruto weapons. I mean, not Naruto. What am I doing? Um, some Star Wars weapons. So first, I'm gonna go over the figure itself. Okay. So just another bronze and black character has a classic Mandalorian armor. Oh, that's not even classic Mandalorian armor. I'm an idiot. But um, it has like the Mandalorian armor, Mandalorian. <laughs> um, the Mandalorian little um, foot protector. Then it has a line on the back, and then some like um fingertips that are bronze. Um, shoulder pads. Um, a little line in the on the arm, and that's for his flamethrower. And again, bronze tips. And then he has his little antenna with the tip of it, bright, um, colored bronze. And then the mask is just the iconic T shape. Yeah, iconic T-shape. A little messed up, but can fix that. Oh, then this is the, this is the cape. Under the cape is just regular Batman torso. It's an uncolored line up there. Um, so that's the Mandalorian. Mandalorian up there, see. Oh, and to get that little antenna, um, where is the little thing? Is it here? Mm, I'm not finding it. Crap. Okay, well, I just like used um, you know that thing that people use to guide their ski, their skiing. I just um, so it had the handle that I just cut it off. Good to hear, colored it up, and that's the Mandalorian. I'll just pick that back up there. I could use that for something. I don't know. So first, this light um, it's just standard lightsaber, a standard green lightsaber. I tried to do some printing at first. It looked good. I, do, I just don't feel like you're doing it, so just eat that over there. Um, another lightsaber with a spike on the bottom and a black handle, and um, another green, um, t um green admitter or whatever. And then an orange saber and that's Kylo Ren's. I didn't have red, so I improvised and made it orange. You just need this piece, and then if you have two of the pieces, or you need two of the pieces, you need two of these pieces. So you get one of the pieces, cut off those things, and then glue them to the side, and then you just get the other piece, and just don't cut anything off that piece. Just glue it into the thing, and then boom, there's your Kylo, Win, uh, Kylo Ren saver. And this saver just turned out, or the handle, it still turned out horrific. Pretty sure horrific means bad, but if it doesn't, then it turned out bad. But yeah, it's just a regular um saver. Um, this is a shrimp bladed saver. Didn't do any um markings on the handle because I don't really care about the shrimp handle. I just wanted another lightsaber. Um, this is a double bladed lightsaber with like a hand guard right there. One side is blue, one side is green. It has the little hand guard right there. Um, so this now, now I'm gonna go over like the blasters and all that stuff. But I'll leave all the Mandalorian weapons um out until you know after. I got two of the regular rifle blasters, or like the little pistol, or like, like the medium um, rifle blasters. And I made this on um, rifle blaster myself, or like the, I just like colored it. I got this off of like, I think like, I really don't know. But um, I just made this like a blaster, colored some things black, colored some things gold. This is like a thing that could take down ships like TIE Fighters and X-Wings and stuff. Um, Pretty simple, just tripod. So a line, a green thing right there, and then like a big um thing right there, this white piece right there. Um, like an orange piece right there for the aim, and then this so I could load. I could go like this. Like this right here, whenever you're loading it, and then go like this, whenever you're done loading it. And then this is just, I don't even know, I'm not gonna go over it too much, but it's like a, like just a, like a, I just made this into like a blaster that's like, it shoots electrical things and that's the ammo right there. And this is like the E-Core from um, Brick Arms. Um, I, use that as, I use it as a Star Wars blaster. This is also another gun from um, Brick Arms. Um, so, uh, where is it? Um, this piece right here. 
So whenever I was getting out of the package, I accidentally broke off this piece right here. So now it just looks like this, and it kind of looks like the E core. Um, but like just you know, like not as thick or whatever. Um, is that all Star Wars things? No, let me go over the ships first. Okay, so this is like a Lego ship that Lego made, and I just built it. I think it's probably the Resistance ships. I'm I'm kind of new on the whole Star Wars things. This is the under back side there's blasters on the side too and then other side and then the cockpit or if you actually call it the person sits okay okay right there this is like the mothership or like the biggest ship um I don't feel like explaining this. Uh, so I'm just gonna let you all look because like I don't feel like explaining it. Blasters on each side. The flames coming out from making it go. Although um in my imagination it's really big, it still has really good speed. And this I'm pretty sure is an X-wing. Um, multicolor because you know why not? Um. There, the back image. That's like, then whenever it goes into hyperdrive, it has blue things on it. And that's the X-Wing. Right here. Um, so that's all of that. Um. Oh, yeah, I couldn't show off these. So these aren't Imperial credits or whatever. It, this is just the metal that um, Mandalorians use. It's like Baskar steel. Um, like while it's in the cube form, the Mandalorian show on Disney Plus. It's like in cubes, and they melt it down and they put in some Mandalorian's armor over there, right here. See, him? he looks beautiful, doesn't he? Doesn't he looks beautiful? Now I'll cover over the um, Mandalorian's weapons. So this is like kind of like the Lego built version of the Mandalorian's weapons. I just changed this piece right here. Other than that, instead of that piece, it would usually be this piece right here. Um, okay, I guess I didn't cover. Okay, but this is just another Mandalorian pistol blaster. Um, I wanted to cover like a plus sign on there, so like it's aiming. But I didn't do that on this one. It's like a pretty much the same gun, or like it is the same gun. I just added this little barrel piece right there, colored it, colored it like that. Um, put the little um bronze thing right there, and like the plus sign just for like it's aiming. Um, that's the that, and like this is the Mandalorian's um knife, like a bow knife or whatever you call it. It's like you can just. You know, kill aliens because that's what they do. And this is its flamethrower. That's why it has that little line because the flamethrower. Um, the flamethrower is so special. Yeah. Okay, so you see a little line. Yeah, that's supposed to be the, um the flamethrower. It's just like yay. Just cover everything on fire because why not? And then this is like a jetpack. I as you can see, I tried to cover. I'm trying to draw. Mandalorian um thing on it. Oh, I just did three dots in it because it liked some things on it. So from that, um, <coughs> this is actually originally um it's actually a jetpack for one of the stormtroopers or jet troopers or jet troopers. Um, this is a lightsaber. I would like this um handle piece right here. Oh, uh, cause I like the bronze and black and the like um silver silverish type um grayish type color, cause the chrome on it got um kept um like scratched away from from it being my pocket. And this is a dark saver, um it's a custom made or um, custom drawn um handle for the saver. Other than that, nothing else is really custom on there. And then the masterpiece. In the masterpiece. Um, so this is actually the Mandalorian's gun from the um, the Mandalorian, Mandalorian gun from the Mandalorian show on Disney Plus. Um, so let's see if I can find that sniper. Oh yes, I can. It should be right up in here. Boom. Okay. So I just took this gun right here. 
Um, again, I do bronze on this to make it look more realistic, and honestly, it really kind of does. Um, I cut off the aimer and cut off from there all the way to that, um, like, indented line right there. Cut that off, and I also cut off the, um, the aimer, and I only color colored, for this one, I only colored the handle part of it, um, bronze, because that's what it looked like in the Mandalorian show, or the Mandalorian image I got. And then I glued one of these Star Wars handle um, lightsaber pieces on the side of the gun instead of on top because in the show it's kind of off to the side. And then you, also on the show it's like kind of spiky. The tip of it's like spiky. So I did that with just um, using one of those connecting pieces. Like one of those pieces right there. Yeah, I used that and I just glued it onto this and I colored the tip of it silver because that's what it looks like in the Mandalorian show. Or the Mandalorian image that I found. But other than that, um, that's my Mandalorian or Star Wars um, little, um, let's see, vault, I guess. I don't really know. My most thing I'm most impressed of is will probably be the Mandalorian itself. And then next, the Mandalorian um, gun. And then after that, um, probably the Mandalorian dark saver. And other than that, I don't really have any best things or that are my favorite. But um, that's the end of it.